Smile and learn! Hello, friends! Today we're going to learn how to calculate the area of a square, also known as the surface area of the square. You're probably asking yourselves, what is the area of the square and what is it for? Before we start, let's recap what a square is. A square is a plane figure with four equal sides that are parallel to each other and it has four right angles. That's why we say a square is a regular polygon. We measure its surface in square inches, square feet, or square miles. As you can see in this picture, the area of the square is the total number of square units that fit inside. To calculate the area of the square, we should use the following formula. The area of the square is equal to multiplying one side by another. The sides of this square measure 3 inches each. To find its area, we should multiply one side by the other, meaning we should multiply one side by itself. That is 3 by 3, which equals 9. Awesome! The area of this square is 9 square inches. In this square, we can fit 9 1 inch squares. It is very important to know how to find the area of the square. Let's look at some examples. Patricia is going to build a house on a square lot. If each side measures 20 feet, how big would be the total surface area of Patricia's house? To find out, we need to calculate the area of this square. Remember that we should multiply one side by the other. Let's see, 20 by 20, equals 400. Great! Patricia is going to build a 400 square foot house. It'll be huge! Pay close attention. If we were patient enough to count each square, we would see that there are exactly 400 squares, measuring one square foot each. Let's help Patricia a bit more. She wants to build a square garden next to her house. If each side of the square measures 8 feet, how big would the garden be? To find out, we need to calculate the area of this square. We're going to multiply one side by the other, meaning 8 by 8, which equals, come on, tell me! That's right, 8 times 8 is 64. The garden will have a surface area of 64 square feet. As you have been able to see, Knowing how to calculate an area of a square is very important in construction or architecture. Would you like to try another example? Look for a measuring tape and calculate the next square object you can find. Remember, you only need to multiply one side by the other. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.